Hi and welcome to another video from Asebu. So as you saw in one of my previous videos, talking about a project we haven't done here. Today I had to come over to uh, see what has been done and then make arrangements for uh, materials to you know continue the work. So uh, since the last time, um, what we saw was um, the profile and then the markings for the foundation. Now I'll take you through what has been done since the last time till now and what is currently being done so after the marking of the foundation on the ground we indicated them with um, the white uh, or white wash so it makes it easier or visible you know during the digging process so the digging was done it took about two days to complete the digging and then after the digging the concrete works had to be done but even before the full concrete works we had to um, work on the columns so they had to dig their columns a little bit further down before um, you know spreading concrete there and then after that they raised their iron rod to the smart for the iron rods before the iron rods or the pillars itself comes into it and then after that too there was a specific i think two days was dedicated for setting the place or the place making sure it is you know straight throughout the entire building we have about 20 pillars throughout and we use 12 millimeters um, for that that is the size of steel we use for that and after that was done then there was a full casting of concrete but even before the casting of the concrete they had to spread uh, a damp proof membrane or what we normally know as the you know the plastic rubber so they had to spread that in the foundation or the, um, the digging that they had done before you know applying the concrete so the concrete uh, went throughout the entire house and then the size of that was about six um, inches for the concrete throughout the entire house and then um, that also took like about i think two days to have that done and then after that um, now they're doing the block work but even before the full block work they had to do the setting so set the block works um, that is the first layer of block for the entire house so make sure getting it you know in square in perfect square making sure the size is accurate you know for the house and making sure it's when you write in light too. so that was the um, setting and then after the setting was done they had to you know now lay their actual uh, block so we are doing about five cores of blocks uh, for the foundation we want the height the reason is because uh, there are hills around and this part happens to be the lower part you know and we don't want a situation whereby in case there's water or flood it's going to you know cost issue so we're raising the foundation to that level and then after that we're going to be doing the filling and even before the filling we are going to be painting the inner walls with damp proof um, paint so that's going to go throughout the entire house and then after that we do the filling inside and then outside also we're going to be painting the section which is going to be buried in the soil with a damp proof paint now the idea is uh, we're trying as much as possible to pre um, prevent dampening of the walls Maybe it might happen, that is um, depending on the soil, nature of the soil over here, maybe not, but it is always best to be on the safer side so that in case the soil is not best or uh, there's the probability of that happening, then, you know, we have got it sorted out. So that is going to be the next thing to be done. Um, after that, then there's going to be cast of the concrete, that is the pillars or the columns um, throughout the entire house. And then after that is done, then the filling comes in and because it's not so raining frequently so maybe after the filling with the soil or laterite or gravels then what we are going to be doing next is we probably soak it with water for some time and then make sure you know it's very you know well compact before we use the uh, compactor or the ramper um the what is used to ram the soil and then after that we are going to spread the damp proof membrane on top of it or the plastic throughout the entire foundation and then after that we are going to cast the concrete uh, on it throughout the entire house so i'll take you to the various um, sections of the house it's a three bedroom house with um, a master bedroom which and which is an in suit so the bathroom is attached to the, to the room and then you have um, two other rooms you know you have in a shared washroom so in case you have a guest that is that, that guest is also able to use that wash where then you have a hall and then you have the kitchen and then the dining section is a part of the hall and then you also have a small porch which is uh, at the back of the kitchen and you have a storeroom as well there's also a utility room and then there's also a porch um, in front of the house so basically these are some of the works which are going on over here um, 
we've we've done like two weeks continuous works to get to this point so hopefully this is going to be the foundation is going to be completed soon and then we'll continue with the uh, superstructure itself so this is like the substructure uh, parts that we are working on so um yeah I'll, I'll take you through some of the um you know some joint shots of you know the place you know the digging process or after the day again where we started from the marking and then the concrete works and then now uh, the pillars and then the block works so that would be just about it i see that i actually did the sketch for this house before handing it over to the architect to do the actual drawings and then with all the measurements and everything for it so yeah so i'm currently in a master bedroom it's uh, 14 by 13 feet with a section for the wardrobe and then there's a bathroom section so there's a door that leads to the bathroom for here then the size of the bathroom is 8 by 11 feet and then you have a small utility room which is 4 by 7 feet and then you have the entrance or the doorway for the master bedroom which comes from the hall section and then you have the kitchen which is here and then you also have a corridor from the kitchen and then you have a corridor that leads to the other two rooms on the other side of the house as you might have seen in one of my videos during the foundation you notice that we had to leave some small spaces let me just show you in between so that's one that's one and then that's one yes and the purpose of that is because we are not relying on range to you know soak this for like some time and we're going to be you know soaking it with our own water it is always advisable to have the small spaces so in case there's excess of water in it you don't have your walls breaking off but you know we have some coming out through this section because i've seen this um, i'll share with a small video of a building project where they didn't they failed to do that and you see the outcome of that they soaked it with a lot of water and that they had one of their walls just you know going off even going off from the pillar that he had over there so this is very important if you are going to be soaking your foundation with water by yourself if not and you're going to be relying on rainwater then that is fine so it's you know you allow it for some period of time to settle before you go ahead to do the the compacting or the ramping of the soil so yeah since the last time i came here to Asibu, um things hadn't changed much but coming here today i'm noticing some change so someone is also ready to put up their building projects just right close to where we are having our so that place has been cleared and then a road had to be redirected to a different section so that you know people who are driving are able to use that so i'm sure probably maybe in the coming week we'll be seeing some works ongoing there as well so that is how fast i see is you know developing it's very interesting ever since i came here for the very first time till now there's been so many buildings that had gone up since the last time so in case you're also interested in getting a land here at Asebu, maybe it's about time you get in touch with it Asebu um, Pan African village or the Asebu man so you you're able to you know you know get some plots for yourself and then start your building project over here I must say that there's nothing like land guards there's nothing like challenges with maybe the municipal assembly and the rest no because all these things have been factored as part of the administrative fees which has been catered for so once your plot is allocated to you even before the indenture is ready you can go ahead to get started with your building project and hopefully you get your indenture and then your site plan for the entire place but before you start your project you need to see the survey of the place so he's able to show you the layout show you where there's roads going to be and even help you with you know where you can position your building so you don't end up having your building facing somewhere else and you know the road is on the other side so these are some of the things you need to know no it comes in handy especially when you're getting ready to put up your building here at Asebo. so that'll be just about it for this video i'll keep sharing more updates with you about this place um that is things that i'm able to see and then also about the building project that we haven't done here in case you're interested in anything at all you can just always um, reach out to me my um, contact number which is on whatsapp it's in the description of the video and uh if i can assist i sure will if not i probably may be able to redirect you to someone else who will be able to assist so once again thank you for watching in case you are new and you haven't subscribed yet can you go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime i have a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one